Hello YouTube. I got some new stuff from AKK technology. It's called AKK Nano 2. It is uh, standard 5.8 GHz 48 channel switchable video transmitter or VTX with UART port and pit stop mode and all the stuff that AKK usually has with the, their new products. I'm going to open it now. This is manual as usual just a couple of pages with the frequency chart and the connection diagram and in the bag nothing more there is a really tiny little transmitter with the wires this one is for a camera connection and this is a power supply for the VTX and camera small antenna with uh, L connection and this is just adapter for different types of of uh, 1S batteries so let's check the manual what manual says it says input voltage 3.2 up to 5.5 volts uh, it supplies uh, the camera with a 5 volt uh, power so you don't need uh, additional power supply for the camera output power from the VTX is uh, 25 up to 200 milliwatts I think 25, 50, 450, 6, 650 milliwatts so oh, it's quite enough <laughs> especially for, for those micro drones and there are some LEDs red and blue one as per manual I will have to connect it to the battery and check that out let's see the weight of this system okay VTX with the cables is 2.38 grams if you add antenna to it it's under 3 grams and this is awesome actually <laughs> can't believe that they put so many so many features in this lightweight VTX under 3 grams with antenna that's that's really great okay I'll try to hook it up and then continue okay let's continue never power any of your VTX without antenna so I had to put antenna it's standard connector like in most receivers uh, I forgot to mention there is a little button over here for you to change band channel and power level and I was looking a little bit on the manual so I was wrong about power output it supports 0 0.01 milliwatts it's called pit stop mode and this particular one has 25, 50, 100 and 200 milliwatts of power switchable all of that can be accessed via OSD on your beta flight controller or via this little button so let's see how it works I will connect 1S battery with this adapter I 
hope. Yeah. And now I've changed to 100 milliwatts already. So how to change the band? Uh, pardon. How to change the channel? Changing the channel is easy, just pressing this button once and you are changing the channels. You see blue LED flashes every time. Uh, changing the bend, you have to long press this button for two seconds until the red one flashes and now you are changing the bend. You can see that the red is moving. I don't know if you can see that on, on mobile phone but it's moving changing the bends. And finally changing output power is by long pressing this button for four seconds. So first red will flash then blue and then again change by pressing shortly the same button you change the power. Uh, when blue LED is always light is always on it is 25 milliwatts so if I press again it will be 50 press again 100 press again 200 press again now it's 200 sorry I forgot about pit stop mode so first was pit stop mode I hope it's really hard with this tiny little button to do yeah this is 25 milliwatts uh, I must say I can feel it uh, it heats up a lot especially when it's on 200 milliwatt power so I mean this is designed for tiny loop and those tiny micro quadcopters not for some long range but it's always good to have more output power than 25 milliwatts depends in which country you are flying you have to obey the standards and the rules of particular country okay I will hook it up to something and try outside as, as soon as weather allows me to do that.